hello welcome welcome to day 104 of our bible in a year challenge my name is sandra i'm gonna be your host for today welcome we are excited to have you here we are committed to reading our bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time yes you heard me right just less than 20 minutes daily read time please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on facebook on instagram and on tiktok we are excited to have you here let's get started day 104 april 14th 2022 365 days bible reading old testament deuteronomy 21 deuteronomy 22 new testament luke chapter 16 verse 1 to 18 psalms and proverbs proverbs 9 13 to 18 old testament niv version deuteronomy 21 verse 1 to 23 atonement for an unsolved murder if someone is found slain lying in the field in the land the lord your god is giving you to possess and it is not known who the killer is your elders and judges shall go out and measure the distance from the body to the neighboring towns then the elders of the town nearest the body shall take a heifer that has never been worked and has never worn a yoke and lead it down to the valley that has not been plowed or planted and where there is a flowing stream there in the valley they are to break the high first neck the levitical priest shall step forward for the lord your god has chosen them to minister and to pronounce blessings in the name of the lord and to decide all cases of dispute and assault then all the elders of the town nearest the body shall wash their hands over the heifer whose neck was broken in the valley, and they shall declare, Our hands did not shed this blood, nor did our eyes see it done. Accept this atonement for your people Israel, whom you have redeemed, Lord. And do not hold your people guilty of the blood of an innocent person. Then the bloodshed shall will be atoned for. And you will have purged from yourselves the guilt of shedding innocent blood. Since you have done what is right in the eyes of the Lord. Marrying a captive woman. When you go to war against your enemies and the Lord your God delivers them into your hands and you take captives if you notice among the captives a beautiful woman and are attracted to her you may take her as your wife bring her into your home and have her shave her head trim her nails and put out put aside the clothes she was wearing when captured after she has lived in your house and mourned her father and mother for a full month, then you may go to her and be her husband and she shall be your wife. If you are not pleased with her, let her go wherever she wishes. You must not sell her or treat her as a slave since you have dishonored her. The right of the firstborn. If a man has two wives and he loves one but not the other and both bear him sons but the firstborn is the son of the wife he does not love when he wills his property to his sons he must not give the rights of the firstborn to the son of the wife he loves in preference to his actual firstborn the son of the wife he does not love he must acknowledge the son of his unloved wife as the firstborn by giving him a double share of all he has that son is the first sign of his father's strength the right of the firstborn belongs to him a rebellious son if someone has a stubborn and rebellious son who does not obey his father and mother and will not listen to them when they discipline him his father and mother shall take hold of him and bring him to the elders at the gate of his town They shall say to the elders, this son of ours is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey us. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Then all the men of this town are to stone him to death. You must purge the evil from among you. All Israel will hear of it and be afraid. 
various laws. If someone guilty of a capital offense is put to death and their body is exposed on a pole, you must not leave the body hanging on the pole overnight. Be sure to bury it that same day because anyone who is hung on a pole is under God's curse. You must not desecrate the land the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 22 verse 1 to 30. If you see your fellow Israelites ox or sheep straying, do not ignore it, but be sure to take it back to its owner. If they do not live near you, or if you do not know who owns it, take it home with you and keep it until they come looking for it, then give it back. Do the same if you find their donkey or cloak or anything else they have lost. Do not ignore it. If you see your fellow Israelites donkey or ox fallen on the road, do not ignore it. Help the owner get it to its feet. A woman must not wear men's clothing, nor a man wear women's clothing. For the Lord your God detests anyone who does that. If you come across a bird's nest beside the road, either in a tree or on the ground, and the mother is sitting on the young or on the eggs, do not take the mother with the young. You may take the young, but be sure to let the mother go so that it may go well with you and you may have a long life. When you build a new house, make a parapet around your roof so that you may not bring the guilt of bloodshed on your house if someone falls from the roof. Do not plant two kinds of seed in your vineyard. If you do, not only the crops you plant, but also the fruit of the vineyard will be defiled. Do not plow with an ox and a donkey yoked together. Do not wear clothes of wool and linen woven together. Make tassels on the four corners of the cloak you wear. Marriage violations. If a man takes a wife and after sleeping with her, dislikes her and slanders her and gives her a bad name saying, I married this woman, but when I approached her, I did not find proof of her virginity. Then the young woman's father and mother shall bring to the town elders at the gate proof that she was a virgin. Her father will say to the elders, I gave my daughter in marriage to this man, but he dislikes her. Now he has slandered her and said, I did not find your daughter to be a virgin, but here is the proof of my daughter's virginity. Then her parents shall display the cloth before the elders of the town, and the elders shall take the man and punish him. They shall find him a hundred shekels of silver and give them to the young woman's father because this man has given an Israelite virgin a bad name. She shall continue to be his wife. He must not divorce her as long as he lives. If, however, the charge is true and no proof of the young woman's virginity can be found, she shall be brought to the door of her father's house and there the men of her town shall stone her to death. She has done an outrageous thing in Israel by being promiscuous while still in her father's house. You must purge the evil from among you. If a man is found sleeping with another man's wife, both the man will sleep with her and the woman must die. You must purge the evil from Israel. If a man happens to meet in a town, a virgin pledged to be married and he sleeps with her, you shall take both of them to the gate of that town and stone them to death. The young woman, because she was in a town and did not scream for help, and the man, be because he violated another man's wife. You must purge the evil from among you. But if out in the country a man happens to meet a young woman, pledged to be married and rapes her, only the man who has done this shall die. Do nothing to the woman. She has committed no sin deserving death. This case is like that of someone who attacks and murders, attacks and murders a neighbor. For the man found the young woman out in the country, and though the betrothed woman screamed, there was no one to rescue her. 
if a man happens to meet a virgin who is not pledged to be married and rapes her and they are discovered he shall pay her father 50 shekels of silver he must marry the young woman for he has violated her he can never divorce her as long as he lives a man is not to marry his father's wife he must not dishonor his father's bed hallelujah new testament niv version luke chapter 16 verse 1 to 18 the parable of the shrewd manager jesus told his disciples there was a rich man whose manager was was accused of wasting his possessions so he called him in and asked him what is this i hear about you give an account of your management because you cannot be manager any longer the manager said to himself what shall i do now my master is taking away my job i am not strong enough to dig and i am ashamed to beg i know what i'll do so that when i lose my job here people will welcome me into their houses so he called in each of his master's debtors he asked the first how much do you owe my master 900 gallons of olive oil he replied the manager told him take your bill sit down quickly and make it 450 then he asked the second how much do you owe a thousand bushels of wheat he replied he told him take your bill and make it 800 the master commended the dishonest manager because he had acted shrewdly for the people of this world are more shrewd in dealing with their own kind than are the people of the light. I tell you, use worldly wealth to gain friends for yourselves, so that when it is gone, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much, and whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. So if you have not been trustworthy in handling wealthy wealth who will trust you with true riches and if you have not been trustworthy with someone else's property who will give you property of your own no one can serve two masters either you will hate the one and love the other or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other you cannot serve both god and money hallelujah the Pharisees, who loved money, heard all this and were sneering at Jesus. He said to them, You are the ones who justify yourselves in the eyes of others, but God knows your hearts. What people value highly is detestable in God's sight. Additional teachings. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. Since that time, the good news of the kingdom of God is being preached and everyone is forcing their way into it. It is easier for heaven and earth to disappear than for the least stroke of a pen to drop out of the law. Anyone who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery. And the man who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Glory to God. Psalms and Proverbs, Proverbs 9, <clears throat> 13 to 18. Folly is an unruly woman. She is simple and knows nothing. She sits at the door of her house on a seat at the highest point of the city, calling out to those who pass by, who go straight on their way. Let all who are simple come to my house. To those who have no sense, she says, stolen water is sweet. Food eaten in secret is delicious. But little do they know that the dead are there, that her guests are deep in the realm of the dead. Amen. Wow. Amazing. Thank you so much for hanging around with me. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Please, if you're here and you haven't yet made Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, it will be my utmost pleasure to lead you in this prayer of salvation. Kindly repeat this prayer after me, believing in your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you said that prayer, we're so excited to welcome you to God's family. Welcome. Please kindly go ahead, send us a message. Let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new faith walk. Glory to God. Were you blessed today? I was really blessed with today's readings. Glory to God. Please, if you haven't yet done so, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok. I look forward to another exciting day tomorrow with you. Have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.